is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure news for you guys i i totally forgot about this i was just out with the family having fun at the zoo very great day at the zoo with the fam had jojo had the wife we were just enjoying ourselves of course and we had some news dropped on us right we had some news dropped on us that i completely forgot about like bill makina you guys know the lead guy over there at Mattel Elite Series Design Team as it is. He was, uh, I forgot that he was doing this little event showing it. Like, I don't know if it was like a Walmart or something. He said like he was going to Walmart or, or they were doing this event or something like that. And they wanted to reveal new figures. Well, that went right over my head. Like, I remember that and I was like, okay, cool, new figures this weekend. And then I totally forgot with March Madness and everything going on that, yeah, we, we sure as hell did, Brad. We had some Mattel WWE action figure reveals. So here we are, man. Let's go ahead and just dive into it. We got some great stuff. I'm excited for it. Let's go ahead and show it off, man. Starting out first, we do have WWE Elite Series 95 Jimmy Uso. Now, this figure looks incredible. And I know a lot of people are just going to be like, well, MDT, it's just the same Elite Uso with black joggers instead of white or red. And you're damn right it is, Brad. You're damn right it is. It looks beautiful. I've been waiting on Black Gear Usos forever. Now, my only critique is, are we going to be getting another J? You guys know that we just got J in, what, Elite Series 90 in a repeat in the white? I don't know why they did that. I, I, I cannot fathom why they would have given us J in the white and then Jimmy in the black. But the only way you can really fix it is you're going to have to do a torso swap and, you know, just take off the top half of this Jimmy and put a J on there and it'll be perfect, right? It'll be absolutely perfect. It'll be beautiful. It'll be wonderful. It'll be all those different adjectives. And we can also take... a another J, hack off the top part of him, and put another Jimmy on top of that one to have Usos in white with double jointed arms, and then Usos in black with double jointed arms. Now you guys will also notice that he has his Usos hat, I've been waiting on that accessory as well. The only time you could have gotten that is in that battle pack that I never found, not once ever. And battle packs of the Usos go up in value for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's probably because they ha they look sick as hell, to be honest with you, like the different gears they give them. But nonetheless, man, this figure looks incredible. I'm very excited for it. Some people are saying this is Jay. Everybody's saying it looks like Jay, but I mean, this is Jay, this is Jay. I don't know. I'm underscore just underscore living underscore life underscore said, my damn toy's about to lose his mind. And yes, bro, you are absolutely correct. I am losing my mind right now. So this is beautiful, man. I've been waiting on this figure for years. I have been waiting on this for so long and it's finally here i'm giddy i'm giddy for this this is beautiful freaking excellent i don't have any issues with it man let's move on to the next figure you guys know how i feel about it it's beautiful it's wonderful next up is another beautiful figure man elite series i want to it's 94 edge i think elite 94 edge in his wrestlemania white gear holy hell bro they say it's a proto. Now, there's lots of things we got to unpack with this figure, which we'll get into, of course. But they did his white gear. Now, there's a lot of ways to look at this, okay? I have rated RKO in my Fed, of course. Now, I have what? I have an updated, double-jointed arm, beautiful-looking edge in what? White and red gear to match my Elite Series 90 white and red Randy Orton with double-jointed arms. Holy shish. This is beautiful. It's getting me freaking excited. Of course, a lot of people are tagging me in this. A ton of people tag me in this. I love it, man. It's a beautiful figure. Figure. I think I, I remember when he first walked out at Mania like this everybody was tagging me in it So that was amazing and then of course I did post on uh, Instagram immediately with a side-by-side -side of Randy and Edge from the event in their white gear and sure enough We both will will have both of them in figure form in their white gear now So worked out perfectly. I, I said use this post as a you know Please make these gears in elite form at Bill at Mattel whatever it got like four or five thousand likes and here we are, man. So it totally worked. I mean, they probably would have made it anyway, but it is pretty cool to, you know, see the feedback from everybody that wanted this gear. And now here it is. It looks beautiful. You guys know how I feel about it. It's obviously not completely accurate. There are some inaccuracies with it. I'm not going to critique it right now. Maybe they're going to add that deco later. But also, like, he's missing the square around the R on the trunks there. He has his Daniel Bryan torso that he's had forever. We've been clamoring for a Cesaro Elite 23 torso for years and years on this guy. Still haven't gotten that, so that will be a fix-up we have to do or or something because he is going to have double jointed arms though. I don't know how we're going to swing that and make those fit. I think maybe we could just pop the biceps off. I don't know. We'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. 
nonetheless, this figure looks great. A lot of people were picking on the head sculpt. I really don't have an issue with the head sculpt. I actually kind of like the head sculpt, to be honest with you. It's not perfect. It's kind of like a grimacing look. People said it looked like Buddy Murphy or something. I don't know. I, I like it a lot. I think it looks a lot like Edge. It's beautiful. I know the rubber coat deal. I think it's either going to be moldable arms like the Elite 93 Seth Rollins jacket, or it's going to be Sasha Banks Elite 83 jacket, or Kyrie Sane from Elite 73, where you can pop the arms off and like pose the jacket with the, you know what I'm saying? It's like a poseable rubber rubber jacket in one or two poses, but you know, at the end of the day, I don't really care. It's going to go off of my figure into the drawer, and I'll probably have to get a custom one made, but this figure looks incredible. I love it. I think it looks fantastic. You guys can already see, I think there's like a cut where it shows the head sculpt close up. There is a cut in the arm right there, so I think you're going to be able to pose it up or down, depending on how you have him there, and that'll probably be what they do. I don't know, but it's a beautiful figure. I don't really have any issues with it, man. I, I you know, just swap the torso, fix it up a little bit. It'll be freaking money. It, it Just shut up and take my money now. Next up is a Elite Series 94 Stephanie McMahon and this looks pretty solid. I figured when when I heard that she was rumored to be in this lineup, I was excited because I figured that it would be the SMH shirt with the Women's Championship, sort of a corporation Stephanie, and that's kind of what we got here. So, looks really good. I like it. I don't have any issues with it. Double jointed arms. It'll probably be a really nice figure to pose around. It looks like it's going to be fun to pose around with the double jointed and the nice legs and the double jointed knees. Really good looking figure. I love it, and I'm very glad that we have a Women's Championship again. So, that's cool as well. Even though you can find four on your target pegs right now at the with the Elite China. I hope they clearance those out soon, but nonetheless, I like the Stephanie. I don't have any issues with it. We haven't had Stephanie in a very long time. Next up, guys, we also have a look at the Ruthless Aggression Elite. Now, this Brock Lesnar head looks a bit odd, but the figure looks fantastic with the double jointed arms and the attire and everything, man. This is a beautiful looking figure. You guys will also notice that Shawn Michaels and Batista are on display, and you're probably wondering, you know, if you're, maybe if you're on the younger side, you may be wondering why he, why like, why is Sean... First of all, why is he playing the air guitar? That's just a joke, but seriously though, he is he's posed with a ring bell, and then Batista is posed with a lamp, and that is because back in the day, their original Ruthless Aggression figures came with these random accessories, and so I think they're paying homage to that, and you know, kind of tipping the cap there, since this is a Ruthless Aggression wave, they're kind of paying homage to that wave and everything like that, so that's pretty cool there, but uh, the, these figures look great, I like the basic 100 head on Sean, I love Batista, that figure is phenomenal with the double jointed arms, the tattoo great ultimate edition head sculpt on there love that they gave him the strapped boots so we get more copies of that this is a set and a, a complete set i will get this set completely mocked that is something that i will definitely be doing with this with this wave brock sean batista whatever series two and three are it, you know if we even get a third series even if it's just two waves i am going to get these men on cards so that'll be interesting for sure but i love this i think these look great been waiting on this forever and to have these shown off you guys know that i've been giddy like everything they showed today even though it's not a ton of stuff it's just getting me excited because it's all stuff that i'm going to own it's stuff that i'm very very excited about and it's stuff that i'm going to collect so i'm all for it man the last things that we have here to show off is this new WWE Superstars line. I think in the first wave, there was like, what, Bray Wyatt? There, I don't know. It was kind of right. I think Honky Tonk Man was in that wave. I can't remember the full wave, but you guys will notice here we have the next series, which is going to be Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, Shawn Michaels, Ultimate Warrior, and then they showed off a Papa Shango. No, I don't know. I think Papa Shango is going to be in the next wave, and then this Scott Hall... Kevin Nash, Shawn Michaels wave is the is the next series. So maybe the, the Papa Shawn goes coming later. Nonetheless, I love these little figures. I am borderline thinking about doing a men on card set and a loose set. We'll see about that. You know, I'm still playing around with that. I think these look great though. Like, damn, they look good on display. Like, I think they're fun. I think they're a little bit better than retros, you know, with all their accessories and like their posability. They look really fun. They have solid head sculpts and all that. Like, they look like they're going to be a lot of fun to pose around. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to. I think the Sean is beautiful with the IC title and the blue strap. Love the Ultimate Warrior with his cloth robe or entrance jacket or, or duster or whatever you want to call that. So I'm all on board. I like this line a lot. I know a lot of people have been getting their series, this series men on car from Walmart. So that's pretty cool to see those shipping out. These belts look really good. The NWO World Championship that comes with Hulk Hogan, it looks like that's going to be scaled to elite. So if you guys want to get the Sean and put the blue IC strap in your collection, I think that's something you might want to do. And the WCW tag titles that come with Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. Another thing is, is people were wondering what my thoughts were about Scott Hall. Of course, rest in peace to Scott Hall. Terrible news. 
earlier, I think it was last week, and I tweeted about it, so if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, that's probably why you didn't miss anything. I, I hadn't put anything in the video. I hadn't done a Scott Hall-related video because I'm not going to like sit there and try to capitalize on his death. You know, he would be trending, obviously. You could easily just make Scott Hall videos and have, you know, you could get extra ad revenue or whatever the case is, but I didn't want to do that, but the reason I didn't mention it in a video is because I did address it on Twitter, and I, of course, condolences to his family, praying for his family. Definitely an underrated talent for sure. Rest in peace to him. He is an absolute legend. Never one of my favorite guys ever, but he was super underrated and rest in peace to Scott Hall. His figure here looks incredible. Can't wait to get my hands on it. I wish that I had a bigger Scott Hall collection. Nonetheless, I'm really excited for the WWE Superstars wave and I, I think that all of them look great, man. Really excited for that wave, but that's all we got. We didn't get a ton of stuff, but we did get some stuff and I had to get on here. I think it's definitely worth worthy of news though. I mean, Jesus Christ, that Jimmy and that freaking Edge. Good God in heaven. That's newsworthy by itself, man, but that pretty much wraps up our news video for today, man. I had to get on here and address it for you guys and talk about everything, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know all your thoughts on these reveals, what you think of Edge, what you think of Jimmy, what do you think of all of these things, man. Let me know all those things down in the comment section. But I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I may post stuff on there that you don't see here on the channel. So definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter for sure, at My Damn Toys. And I will get out of here, man. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And don't cross the line like me when I saw Jimmy and Edge today. You crossed the line, I've been beaten.